I would now like to call upon Dominic Go, Dominic Go, from Ipolo Minor PTE Limited. She is the director of global sales. Please, madam. Hi, everyone. A very good afternoon to all the guests attending this event. I'm very honored to be representing Ipolo Miners. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dominic, and I'm from the Singapore headquarters. So I'm here to present about what everyone is curious and interested to know about crypto mining. So uh, this is the agenda for today. You can take a look. So let me do an introduction of our company. So iPolo is a supercomputer equipment designer that is headquartered in Singapore. We are a very young company, and we know that we have many areas to work and improve on. That is why we value our customers' feedback and would love to talk to anyone who is keen to know more about the crypto mining field. We have offices in Singapore, China, and also in the midst of setting up a new office in the US. Our core team has many valuable experiences in the designing and development of ASIC miners previously, and we are constantly looking for new talent to join our team expansion. And leading our team right now is Mr. Kong Jianping and Mr. Sun Qifeng, whom I am sure are no strangers to seasoned players in the mining field. We constantly strive to improve our computing power and stability, to reduce the power consumption as well as to maintain the blockchain network security. So I'm sure many of you have traded like cryptocurrency in one way or another, be it on an exchange or OTC. But can I just have a show of hands that how many of you have actually done crypto mining before? It can be your own farm, it can be like uh, through a hosting facility or even cloud mining. Anyone? Okay, that's, I, I think that's not a really uh, huge number because people usually associate mining with like expensive equipment and also like a dedicated mining facility or space and you need to engage a team of professionals to help you to maintain your miners. But what if I tell you now that crypto mining, meaning the ASIC miners, not GPU, is possible at the comfort of your own home or office? Is anyone interested to find out more? So allow me to introduce our own mini-series. Okay. We currently have two versions of the mini-series, mainly the G1 Mini, which mines the green coin, as well as a V Mini for the eThash algorithm. So V Mini is currently still undergoing some R&D efforts, and we will be launching it really, really soon. For those who are interested to pre-register or know more about our ordering process, please feel free to visit our booth at booth number 35 to find out more. So I will now show you our G1 Mini specifications. As you can see, it has a hash rate of 1.2 GHS, and it is capable of mining an average of about seven green coins per day, given the current blockchain difficulty level. And it only has a consumption of energy consumption of 120 watts per hour. And the thing about mini series is that it is relatively small in size as compared to the normal industrial miners. And it is only the size of a, about an internet router. And another thing is that the mini produces a lot less noise, which is for the G1 mini is about 60 decibels. So it's equivalent to about the sound of an air condition running at full speed at your house. So I will now proceed to show you how easy it is to set up the G1 Mini, courtesy of YouTuber BitSpeedTrippin. The whole setup process is basically just like a plug and play. So just sit back and enjoy the video. It picks up, it'll, it'll pick up a DHCP address, so if you plug it in and you're not familiar with like a lot of networking stuff, bottom line, you'll plug it into your devices 
and it will pick a new address out. And what you can do is go into your router and identify the objects that are out there. Once you go to that IP address, you can get into the configuration. Now, this is where it's a little, it, at first was a little hard for me, um, just because a lot of the pools seem to be only based in China. And then lo and behold, Two Miners has a solo pool, which is what I ultimately ended up setting up with, just because I'm comfortable and confident that, that Two Miners has been out there and it has a good payment schedule. Uh, I've just had good success with Two Miners pool, so that's the way this is configured up. And we'll get into some I'm sure it looks pretty easy, right? So anyone into NFT lately? So I'm sure there's been a huge craze over NFT lately, and we are also launching our own NFT version of the G1 Mini sometime uh, end October or early November this year. So that is a limited edition of 500 sets, and there's customized codes or prints on the G1 Mini, making it a really cool and special gift for someone in the crypto playground like you. Or even as a gift for your child who is interested to learn more about crypto mining. I'm sure no children can resist the cute prints on the G1 Mini. Okay? It might even help to spark their interest in crypto mining as well. So for corporate or business clients, we also do have miners that are more heavy in duty. For instance, the G1, so this is our G1. It has a hash rate of 36 GHS, which is approximately 30 times of the G1 Mini. So one can expect definitely high quality performance from these miners, and we would love to speak or meet people who are already in the mining industry or to expand their farms, or even newcomers who are interested to set up a new farm. Okay, please feel free to visit our booth and have a chat or discussion with me or Shen Wei, our Head of Business Development. So we are also thrilled to announce that we will be launching our new B1 miner really, really soon. So this is the B1. So this is using the SHA256 algorithm, which is capable of mining coins like the Bitcoin or the Bitcoin Cash. So there's two versions of it, mainly the B1 and B2, which have a hash rate of 85 to 100 terahash per second, making it one of the fastest miner in the market right now. And the power efficiency for B1 is only about 29.5 to 40 joules per terahash. And we are happy to announce that we will be reserving a small number of B1 miners for corporate clients who are interested to try them out when it is launched. And apart from ASIC mining, so we also do have, uh, sorry, allow me to, yeah, we also do have customized service such as the Xuan Tier series, which is capable for mining file or child coin. For those who have been following the ecosystem for a while, for the file and the child coin, we'll be excited to know that you can mine them now. It is a great opportunity to look into this space if you haven't already done so as opposed to the traditional proof of work miners, the Xuantia series is using proof of capacity. Many users may find that uh, this series is a lot more complicated or difficult to set up as compared to the ASIC miners. But if you feel that it is too much of a hassle to set it up yourself or it is too bulky as compared to the mini series, uh, we do provide hosting facilities for this cust and customized shells for the Xuantia as well. And Lastly, to introduce our V series. So this is the V series miner, which uses the EFash algorithm. So for the V1, it has a hash rate of 3.6 GH per second and 5.4 GH per second for V2. We also have a mini version as well, which is more compact in size with a hash rate of 0.3 GH per second and the power consumption is only 190 watts per hour. So for those who are wondering what's the size of a mini, it is approximately the size of an internet router, which doesn't require a lot of space. And we are targeting to launch them end of this year, November to December. I believe that many people can't wait for this product launch, and I'm equally excited about it as well. So I'm sure after this sharing session, most of you 
will have a better idea of what is suitable for you, like mini or pro. But of course, if you still need some advice or you want to have a discussion with us, please feel free to approach us or drop us an email at sales at ipolo.com or info at ipolo.com. So allow me to go through some of the FAQs before I end my presentation. So the first question is, how do I place an order? So you can actually log on to our website at www.ipolo.com and register an account with us. Then you can place your orders directly on our website. Alternatively, you can also drop us an email at sales at ipolo.com or info at ipolo.com. Second question is, when will my orders be shipped? Okay. So as long as there, the miners is in stock, we will ship out the miners within three business days upon receiving the full payment and also all the necessary paperwork and documentations. But uh, in view of the current COVID situations, some customers may experience a delay depending on the country's customs clearance. And the third question is, I don't know how to start mining. Can you help me? Of course. You can just feel free to look for us at the booth for a further discussion. And we're really, really happy to know that more people are into crypto mining as well. Uh, last question is, what happens if my miner is faulty? So for all our miners, we do provide a 180-day service warranty. And you can send it back to us for repair or replacement. If you don't know what to do, you can just feel free to email our support team at support at ipolo.com and they will advise you what to do accordingly. So I have come to the end of my presentation. I hope you guys enjoy the event for today. Thank you very much.